My name is Terry. I'm 47 years old. I'm a registered nurse here in Hawaii. A hoarder, to me, actually, when I first heard the term, I thought it was such a negative thing. There's no way, you know, that, I'm not a hoarder, we're just messy. My name is Carrie. I am Terry's husband. I just made 55 years old, and we've been married for 15 plus years. I get angry every day when I come home. I see the house the way it is. The more that I try to do something, like just clear a little area, I come home the next day and it's even worse than what it was when I had cleaned it up the day before. So after a while, I said, I just give up. My friends have asked me so many times, why are you guys together? relationship with Carrie is very touch and go. We argue and fight about just about anything. The kids, the house, the clutter. We've been very close to divorce several times. The relationship has progressively gotten worse over the years. Um, my name is Corey. I am 12 years old and Terry is my mother. There's definitely too much stuff in our house. I don't know, there's sometimes I kind of just need to get away from it all. My name is Jordan and I am eight years old and Terry is my mom. I don't like the mess and I'm trying to clean it up. But it keeps on getting messier. I think the respiratory stuff is not very good for my kids. So the dust and things don't help at all. Both of them are asthmatic. The clutter, I'm sure all of that's contributing to the, the lack of air quality and, and just not a safe environment. I know when Corey was born, I told myself I would give up my life for him. And I put him in this situation and now that Jordan, I've done the same thing to her. So it's like I've, I've let both of them down. Oh, I just feel like crying right now. I don't know why. We have with us today four members of the Hawaii Association of Professional Organizers, our 1-800-GOT-JUNK team, the family, and we have a plan of action. I'm Darnita L. Payton. I'm a life management specialist working with people with chronic disorganization and clutter. The stakes are high, and it's not an option to leave without getting this house in order. My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. It was a no-brainer. Kids over stuff, stuff is history. This looks like a donate bag, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. okay. Corey has been a tornado. He's been making decisions quickly. He's not second-guessing. Okay, good luck. Trash. Donate. Okay. Donate. Trash. Okay. I, I really thought there was very little that we could do about it because it's just so daunting. But after seeing the progress from just this morning, I mean, in a few hours, it's such a big difference and much improved. All that stuff is stuff that just got bought as gift items. That I can tell you right now is all keep. That's all Tupperware stuff. You can tell me from a glance. I'm going to pass you over here. There's, there's Dr. Bob. 
It's like the little Tupperware thing. Okay, there's a, like a cockroach or something in there. It's an egg. It's a cockroach egg. It's a cockroach egg, okay? Terry, I mean, you, you, you are not gonna use that, right? You know what, I can just have them take it to the church. Well, we can't, we're not gonna take this to the church, you can't. But, I mean. Okay, all right, where's the trash? We can't slow down at this point. There's still a lot of work to do and they have to keep that momentum up so that I can see and feel comfortable that this is a safe house for them. Is this supposedly rubbish? This area is a biohazard. What, what is this we're standing in? Wet. Rotten Wet paper towels. Paper towels. <laughs> no, that is cat feces. This is your cat food. There's cockroaches and kitty litter in the cat food. Um. Okay, you guys have got to start purging this food. Anything that is expired and not edible has got to come out, okay? These kids cannot come in and make good decisions about what's there. This has got to be taken care of before we leave today. Where, where are you guys going? Um, I don't know. Refrigerator. Where I'd rather put somebody else on it, because I can be more No, no, no. I, I would like you guys to be accountable to get that cleaned out. I don't want somebody else to do it. I want you guys to see what's in there. <laughs> I'm not wasting time on this. That smell was horrific. Um, it was really horrific. Sorry, I disagree. There was a lot of minimizing, saying that it was a Hawaiian smell rather than a rotting smell. And that, that just wasn't the case. How much a year are you guys spending on storage? But this is cheaper than the, what I used to do, so. What did you used to do? I used to have a bigger storage. <laughs> Well, having a storage unit in her yard doesn't seem strange to her. It seems as a normal behavior. Because you're basically paying rent for your stuff to have a place when you have a 3,000 square foot home. We're back to sort of putting stuff in front of the kids again. You know, Carrie, um... Carrie. When we're dealing with compulsive hoarding, we're dealing with a mental condition. When she gets overwhelmed, she bolts. At this point now, she's holding on to all the dysfunction that, that, as you're suggesting, got her into this place. So, you know what? I'm, I'm perfectly happy with you looking at her and saying, I'm getting rid of the stock, because I don't want this. That would be the end of it. End of what? Um, Marriage? Probably. What will she do? Um... I'm not sure, but I know it won't be something that uh, I'm gonna like. When I asked him to go talk with Terry and really confront her, he kind of went back to that old pattern of sort of caving. Problem is, is that the easiest route is not always the best route. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I've Too had much. it. Too much. Yeah. I can't take this. What's the matter? Now is the time. Now is the time. Tell her how you feel. She knows. No, 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 no. no. Don't assume. No. I did already. Do not, I, but, yeah. but tell her, tell <clears throat> her, just like you told us. I'm scared. I'm overwhelmed. What are you scared of? Going back to what we were, I'm scared about losing the kids. I mean, I walked out there and I looked at it. was like what had happened before. It all exploded. <laughs> and I didn't see anything happening. Been there too many times. I don't want to go back. I asked Carrie if he would reveal to her what he revealed to me, and he was very reluctant. But with some nudging, he did it. And for the first time, I felt that Terry actually listened. Will you both, together, follow through with aftercare services? I do. <laughs> okay. I do. I do. I do. I do. Are you okay? 
gosh. All of these have money. So, in do them. you want a container? Well, yeah. Jordan will be happy. She'll be like, Yay. yeah. Yeah. Actually stand in the room. Yeah? So did you believe this could happen? We're standing on the floor, a clear floor. Only in my wildest <laughs> dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jordan. This is great. <laughs> Whoa. You are king of your bed. How does that feel to be up there? Good. Who's sleeping with you tonight? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Everybody's got their own place now. It? Can you believe this? Do you remember what this was like yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, guys, we had mountains of stuff as tall as you, Terry. This is my dream kitchen. It is, it is. I'd like everybody to have a seat. I am certifying this house as safe, no longer hazardous. That's great. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For today, we have a happy ending. We've accomplished the job that we set out to do. I'm extremely happy, and yes, I am confident that uh, my children are here to stay with us. I'm excited about the new day that's here for me and my family. I mean, my kids can run through the house. They're, they're ecstatic. <laughs> it was so are nice you meeting you. Again? <laughs> are you crying again? I know. <laughs> for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.